Right, welcome back to a brand new week. So if you're brand new to the channel, we're a small little honey company based in Lancashire with sites again across Lancashire and Merseyside. If you haven't already, can I please ask you to like and subscribe? It does help us out massively. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. You know all about us. So I'm up in our kennels April. So over the weekend, I got a phone call from the landowner. Stu, Stu, there's a big cloud of bees. They've gone over the caravans and I don't know what's going on. I've never seen anything like it. So ultimately our bees are swarming. Happens to the best of us. And then I got a phone call about half an hour later. Says, Stu, Stu, they've come back. So I'm guessing it's one of our hives that have swarmed with one of our clip queens. Obviously, they've realised the queen's not with them. They've come back once they've realised. So it's my first opportunity to get inside these hives. So I'll have a see what's going on and see if we can make head in the tail of it. So I think I've found our culprit. Only half the amount of bees that I was actually expecting to find in this hive. So I did make a split from it a couple of weeks ago. Took the queen away, left them with the queen cell. And obviously I've not been in since because I wanted the queen to work and get mated, but it's just jam packed with stores and not a lot of anything else. So we've got an open queen cell there. So what's ultimately happened in this hive, there's so many emergency queen cells, they've literally swarmed themselves to death. Every time a queen's hatched, they've taken off. So we're back up at Scarisbrick or Skarsbrick, however you want to pronounce it. So last week I showed you that the bees had just started on our cut comb frames. Well, what a difference a week makes. Fully drawn out, packed full to the brim of honey and almost capped as well. And the on full go mode. Given the forecast, I think another week and they'll be ready to pull the way these bees are going. So suffice to say, I'm gonna be adding extra supers to this one. So this is one of our clover sites and the clover's not even started flowering yet. God, I can't wait for when it does. If this weather continues to play ball, we are in for a bumper year. So I've said it a couple of times, and as a rule, I don't do swarm collections, but I've had a phone call, a uh, chap next door to Wally's. So before anybody says it, I know 100% they're not our bees. Uh, me and Vic went through uh, the full inspections yesterday, so I know they're not, but they also have bees on this farm here as well. So we've got two little swarms one on the fence and one on the post so chances are the cast swarms they both got virgins in so I did agree to come and collect these one so they're not a nuisance and beekeepers don't get a bad name and two the beekeeper has the abs on site won't come out to them isn't interested at all uh, so it's a bit of a hearts and minds campaign People always ask me, you mean, how do you get so much permission, so much land? Well, we've got access to thousands and thousands of acres. And ultimately, it's from doing little things like this. If you get asked to do something and someone's a bit concerned about the bees, if you can, help them out, do it, because um, you never know what might come off the back of it. So we'll get these boxed up and tidied up and, uh, and get them shifted out here so the farmers are uh, that little bit happier. So, first one, we'll take the one on the fence rail. It's my little plan. So, ideally, I should have swapped this for some uh, drawn comb, but we've just got foundation in these, so. And I didn't bring a brush either. I've got a bit of sponge I used to look at my entrances, so. Is 
as easy as that. He says, there we go. That's the bigger one. And this smaller one, I'm probably going to have to scoop up by hand. Uh, this one does have drawn comb in it. Should have done it half and half. Queen in it there. So it's becoming a standing joke now. I've just had a phone call from Mike. He doesn't mind being on YouTube. Hi, He's mate. just chilling out with a beer on a Sunday. We literally live around the corner. And I'm going to say again, these aren't our bees. We don't have any bees at home. But we've got a little swarm. Well, it's a decent sized swarm. It'll fill a nuke anyway in his hedge. So uh, he's got no top and he doesn't want to be on YouTube. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get these put in a nuke and get them shifted out. And then, uh, then the residents can live in peace. The reason they're going back in tree now is because Queen's pheromone's still there, so they still think she's up there. So back up at uh, Latham, Ormskirk site, just seen through these hives here. These are the ones I demoraed last week. <laughs> they look monstrous at the minute. 
obviously quite a few supers on them as well as i drove past i noticed the rips is just finished so i brought clearer bows i'm going to be taking some of these supers off or at least clearing the bees out of them so they don't contaminate it with any other honey uh, i.e hawthorn or anything like that but it's great to see that the sunflowers have literally been sown this week either side of the bees so suffice to say we will be bringing more hours than just these um these few up here uh, for the sunflowers so all being well the weather plays ball and we get a decent sun sunflower crop at the end of the year as well so my plan with these ones normal inspections again it gets a little bit monotonous and repetitive but unfortunately it's the time of year where we're inspecting it each week going around all our sites so other than uh, markets and certain events as uh, it doesn't look it doesn't it doesn't change much than that. I will try and vary it up a little bit, as much as I can anyway. So plan, again, these demerays, if there's queen cells inside, I have brought some adaptive snail grove boards. Um, I am gonna try and uh, do some splits from these if, if possible. So a rapeseed honey then, or canola honey. How do we know it's ready if it's not capped? Plain and simple is, we do a shake test. So we shake the frames, as long as nectar's not coming out, then we know it's ready. So after doing our demo as well last week, the queen's got plenty of room down here now to carry on laying. We've got plenty of space. And we've set out what we achieved. So these are the clear boards we use, the rhombus style. So these are all made by us. So we just buy the rhombuses in. And obviously everything else is made from scratch in our workshop. Some weight in these supers though. So these are our adapted snail grove bows. So with the snail grove system, it's designed to let bees out over different periods and, and whatnot. This is just a floor with a little spinning entrance. It allows us then to separate this demerere. So this top box will eventually come across in the wrong right. So I don't take my veil off. I don't know what it is about this site, but you could bring the nicest colony of bees up here and it would turn slightly aggressive like this once up here. It's wide open. It gets pretty much wind all day, every day. Other than today, it's flat calm for once. Um, but yeah, it's just the way it is. I know bees are slightly off when they're on the rapeseed. The nectar flow's just dropped off as well, which isn't gonna help. So just to recap on what we've done. So clearer boards on the supers to drop the bees down into uh, a fresh super underneath or one that's not fully uh, full and then we've got our own made snail grove boards or split boards whatever you want to call them and then each white 14 by 12 hive has cat brood emerging brood and a new queen cell in so once a queen cell hatch obviously they'll exit go and mate come back and that'll be a colony in its own right and then any bees that want to can bleed off into the original hive and then once these are hatched and mated we'll then take them away and these are destined for another site hence why they're painted white so welcome back we're just at the mating apiary i've got loads and loads of catching up to do i've got to be honest so thank god it's a little bit cool it was 20 odd degrees yesterday uh being fur uh i did burn a little bit uh, and i'm feeling the effects today i'm absolutely shattered to be honest like whether it's a due to the heat yesterday or whatever, but we've still got to crack on. I can't believe it's still on the start of the season. So I'm way behind with my nukes. I've got a load of queen cells that I've grafted that are ready due to hatch uh, over this coming weekend. And I've got probably 30, 40 nukes here. Some are queen right, we're laying queens in. Some have got freshly mated queens in and some are completely queenless that are waiting these cells. But I can't put my hand on what's what. So I'm gonna have to go in, obviously inspect um see what's going on and then mark everything so i know 
again yeah again at this time i'm gonna to have to make some more space so i'm gonna to have to move some of these mated nukes out um, and make room for uh, for fresh ones ready to uh, accept some queen cells so i've found a couple of queens colonies already so i'll be able to make those for the for new cells and then i've come across this colony now I, I do remember this colony this was weak coming out of winter going into spring so i gave them the benefit benefit of the doubt i'll give them some extra feed and i've give them all the time I do I give them now it's a tiny little colony the queen is a tiny little scrawny queen and she's just not doing what I needed to do so unfortunately she's gonna get pinched out today and then we're gonna replace her with a nice new cell there she is so they're queenless now so they're gonna get a cell once they come back round and then we'll check on them in two weeks time, three weeks time, hopefully. New queen's been accepted. And then the state until here. Fair more eggs, I'm getting in numbers. So I've eaten uh, several colonies long here now that need uh, queen cells introducing. So what I use are these little queen cell cages. Slide them between the frames. Like so. And then we can just introduce the cell by placing them inside the top of that cage. Prevents the bees are trying to take the cell down. And they'll just sit there now until that queen hatches. And then she'll just go out the bottom into the colony. Mm -hmm. 